Okay, so welcome to the Whole New World uh, tutorial for the guitar. Uh, this is my arrangement. I did not write the song. It's an excellent song. I did not write it though, so let me just clarify that. Um, I just arranged it for guitar. Uh, it's going to be in the key of G. I'm sorry, it's actually in the key of B, but we're going to be playing it in the G position. Uh, follow the tab along. I'm going to post it there at the bottom on the uh, description, so you can download that. If you have any questions, please send them to me. It's fairly easy. I'm going to go over it very slowly. Um, positions are really pretty. Um, it's easy to play. We're just going to be using our first, second, and third fingers. I really never use my fourth or um, my ring finger. So it's thumb first and second. I'm going to be using through the whole song. And make sure you see my picking hand and also my chord shapes, and that should really be it. So uh, let's get to it. So our first chord is going to be this G over D. Our first shape we're going to hold is this third fret of the low E like a G, and then our second finger is going to be here, second uh, fret of the G string. So your chord should sound like this. The strings I'm picking are E, D, G, and B. So, so that is our very intro. So make sure you got that chord. What we're going to do is we're going to pick that a couple times. So I'm looking at the very top line where it says intro. So what we're going to do is slowly pick that. Let it hold, and then and that would be the second part. And we're going to do that whole thing two times. So very slowly. It's nice and easy, and I'm just using my thumb first, second, and second there. And make sure you're letting that G ring. So what we're looking at now is the verse, and we're going to take it from the very first line. We're going to keep that G over D shape that we were holding, and so we're going to start incorporating some of the melody in. So we're going to start by picking the E and the B string, followed by that open two of the D and G. We're going to go into this C shape with our pinky on the third fret A, and our first finger on that B note, or B string uh, first fret. So, followed by an open D. G. So that's the first half of the verse there. First line. So let's look at that. One more time. Cool. From there, we're going to go to that three in the open and then do that little riff we did in the beginning. Or a little fill, I guess it's more. Cool, so that's the very first line of the verse. So let's look at that very slowly, and then I'll play it at regular speed. When we get to that ending, make sure you bring your second finger back so we can have that chord again, because it's open right before, and then it has to come back. Once again, really slow. Right there. So when you play at regular speed, like that. Line two is going to start off the exact same way. We're just going to change the ending. So we're going to start off. Actually, the middle is a little bit different, too. So we're going to start off. And we're going to pick that series of open strings, D, G, D, G. D, D, G. And we have open B and open E. Come up here to a D over F sharp, which is going to be the uh, thumb on the second fret E and the second fret G with our first finger. And that's how we're going to do the series of the last notes there. The D and the G. Open D. Second fret E. Back to that D string. So what that translates to, very slowly. easy if you follow along with the tab. I'm going to play it as slowly as possible and then regular speed just so you can hear what it's supposed to sound like um, and just use these three fingers throughout. So line two one more time. Very slow. And 
it's all in the accuracy of your picking. So just make sure you're hitting the right strings and going back and forth. You have to play it very slow and speed it up. That's basically how I learned it. I learned it very slow as I was arranging it and then sped it up as I got it. And once you get it, you get it. You get in the groove of it. So line two, again. So it's just feeling out that melody. Uh, here are the first two lines of the chorus, so we could put them together and see what they're supposed to sound like. Or I'm sorry, two lines of the verse. Here we go. Let's start over. Just like that. Once again, slowly. first part of the verse. Then we get on to our Tell Me Princess part, which is going to be the very bottom of the first page. And that one's a little tricky because we're going to start off hitting what's um, that A chord, that O and the two, it's like an A octave. And you'll see that two in parentheses, which means we're going to keep that note held and then slide it. So we're not, we're just keeping it held throughout. So we're going to slide that down. It sounds kind of weird on its own, but when you play it with the rhythm of the song and that timing, it sounds really good. So, so let's try that. So we're going to hit the O and the two, followed by an open D right after. Then we're going to slide that note down. Right there. Cool. And right after, we're going to hit that two on the A, followed by an open B at the same time. So. there on the two and the two. So let's break that down. I'm going to play from the beginning of the very bottom line, that open and two octave, to the two open pull off very slowly. Here we go. Again. Cool. And to get that two, we're going to bring up our second finger, third finger, and have the... All right. So again. Finish it off. We have a series of picking and open strings. Okay, so let's look at that. What we have is the open E in the second fret of the G, followed by an open D. Then we remove that finger and we play those strings open, followed by that open D again. So it's really just subtracting the finger. It's the identical pattern come down here to the 5-4, that's 5 frets of the A, we're going to hammer on as we hit the open D with it, so it's going to sound like that, we're going to go to that 4 on the D, followed by that G, and then an open D, so make sure you lift that finger up, and you can take it off right as you hit it, I take it off pretty much right after I get to that note fretted, cool. So let's look at those last parts of the verse, the very last line of the verse again. Starting there on the two in the open. Right there. Bam. Okay. So let's look at the whole line of the very, very bottom. Then I'll recap those first three lines of the verse from page one. So we're going to start here um, on the open two. Slide. speed. Right there. Right there. Cool. So let's recap everything up until there. So this is lines uh, two, three, and four of page one. Here we go.
right there. Cool. Let's go on to the top of page two now, which is going to be the end of the verse. And if you look on the top, it says ending A and ending B. What we're looking at now is ending A, because after we finish ending A, we're going to go back to the beginning of the verse that we did on page one, play all of those lines again, and then we're going to come back and finish it with ending B. So ending A is just going to go and continue what we did over here. Same idea, and we're going to move it and just play it here in a C position. So we're going to do that same hammer on, this time three, with the open D to the second fret, followed by an open G. So I'm just staring right at the tab if you want to take a look at that. Cool, so I have the hammer on, G. I come up to the second fret of the G, right there followed by the open D, three and open, D, back to that three, so. Right there. Very slow. So it's like you're kind of arpeggiating up and coming back down. So as we come out of that fill, and then we finish it off back in that G position that we start the song with. Right there. This time, instead of using more of the uh, low string in there, we're going to keep it at the D. So you look right at the tab on the top of page two, the very end of the line. Three, three, oh, two. whole line is like this. So for that part, you can keep your thumb here on the D just to finish it off. So right after you hit that three, you can move the thumb down and just back and forth. Cool. So the whole top line again of ending A. And even I hit the open E right there. So let me try that again. fret of the low E if you want instead of the D. They both work. Um, I change off as I'm playing it, but for this purpose I have it written on the D string, but you can use either. Once again. Cool. All right. So what we're going to do now is recap the verse up until ending A. So this will be the very, very first time through on the verse. So I'm going to do it about medium speed and just kind of, actually we'll do it slow. I'll break it down. Here we go. So starting on the very beginning of the verse on page one, I'm going to play those three lines up until the top of page two, which is ending A. Here we go. take a look at ending B. And that is going to be right where we played ending A just now, only we're going to put it there the second time, which is why we call it ending B. So let's break down ending B. It looks very similar, but the ending's a little bit different. So ending B is going to start off very much the same. And then we're going to go to that G chord, which is going to be the third fret, and then open B and open G. And we're going to hold it. So. Close the other tab, we're gonna have the G. And that's gonna go to the one. Followed by an open G. Three and open E. Followed by an open G again. Like that. Cool. So ending B very slowly. Cool. 
So I'm gonna take it out from the bottom of page one, just that very ending A part into ending B. Right there, cool. That'll take us into the chorus.